today we are with Mr. AJ Kalomai. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Kal- Kalom- Kalomai. Were you born in the Philippines or were you born here? I was here? born here, born here in uh, LA, um, UCLA specifically, where my mom was working at the time as a nurse. Crazy enough, right? Mm-hmm. You know, so. So the whole Filipino, you know, you grow up to become a nurse, doctor. How did you kind of battle that or was it supported for your career? Like, how did you deal with that? If you did? Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, when I went to, uh, when I was, you know, applying for colleges, um, you know, I really had no idea what I wanted to major in, you know, Mm -hmm. and, but, you know, parents were encouraging, you know, of course, stability and something that they're familiar with. So of course, medical field, and then they bring, you know, bring up doctor. I'm like, oh, yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, why not? (laughs) So I didn't really put much thought to it. So ended up becoming a biochemistry major. Um, which was really hard, you know, from, you know, like when I was starting yeah. out and around the same time with my involvement at the Filipino club, I had started filming events and editing those together. And back then we were using, you know, like tape to tape. So it was, this was like two VCRs and like a mixer, you know, with so stuff. Uh, <laughs> like, yeah, I think like in real time, you know, you just sort of like do it on the fly, sort of rehearse. So I was doing that for fun. Um, but even before then, when I was a kid, my cousins, my cousins and I would shoot, you know, uh, videos of us skateboarding or, you know, I take like basketball clips and cut together little mu- music videos. Yeah, yeah. So I was still familiar when we were doing the two VCR thing. And when I did it in college, I was like, oh yeah, yeah, this was a lot of fun. You know, I, I enjoyed uh, filming and, and editing and I loved telling these stories and sharing stories that we didn't see a whole lot of, you know, which was, for our community, you know, Filipino American stories, you know, I mean, this is specifically events at UCLA, like those uh, Filipino cultural nights, but I enjoyed working in that environment. And um, I was like, you know, what? I'm, we're here in LA, like this is, this is the entertainment capital of the world. Like I'm, I'm gonna go for it. And even then my parents weren't quite sure if I was gonna stick with it, you know, because it wasn't, it wasn't a lot of pay, you know, it wasn't very, you know, I wasn't doing it. I was still like doing deliveries, uh, buying lunches you know here i am trying to get this career started in hollywood you know um i wasn't like already like working as or or in grad school for anything else um so um it it took a while you know but they were they were pretty supportive you know they but you know they kept on reminding me like hey are you sure this is what you want to do um you know is it is it stable um you know because you know, as we know in the entertainment industry, like things move and change a lot, you know, so they were worried as I kept on sort of, you know, moving on from job to job, um, my first couple of years working in the industry. Um, I think it wasn't until maybe after five years I've been working, you know, I, I landed a job at MTV News, which was something that I'd heard about. So I think they started to realize, okay, this is like a real job. <laughs> you know, I've heard of this now. What are some resources for people who know nothing about filmmaking or editing, but they want to kind of dip their toes into it? I know it's so cliche, but I just watched a lot of movies, different movies. Um, when we got cable when I was younger, that opened up a lot, <laughs> a new world to me, you know? And yeah. now there's, there's no lack of, you know, channels out there. If you've heard about different genres, watch those genres, uh, different eras in cinema, right? So... In the 60s, there was like French New Wave. So I watched a lot of those movies just to get a sense of like, why why did people like this stuff? You know, what was was working about this? In the 70s, a lot of American movies were, were, uh, you know, more independent back then. They were making some strong statements. So I watched movies from that era. Um, I mean, all the movies that you hear people talk about, you know, I mean, go down IMDb and pick a decade and watch those movies and see what resonates. Um, Cause I think that's what's where, where, where it starts, right? It's like just getting that motivation, like, oh, okay, I have a story, I don't know how to say it, but why don't I say it like this movie, but in my own voice. So in a way, sort of like kind of take from what's out there, sort of uh, copying <laughs> in a way, well, you know? I mean, when I watched uh, Pulp Fiction, you know, in, in 94, that gave me a big, you know, that influenced me. I'm like, oh, wow. Because, you know, it was, it was a mainstream release. I saw it in the theater, but the editing was different. So I was like, wow, what is, yeah. what, what's different about this? Um, uh, Fight Club, 
as well. You know, the, the storytelling in that movie. Watch movies of that your friends aren't watching. You know, watch something else that you've heard, you may have heard about before. Um, that'll get you used to language, visual language, um, and sort of expand your vocabula vocabulary. So it's not just, okay, I don't want to just watch the same stuff. You know, uh, there's only so many things if we're all watching the same Netflix shows, right? Like, what else is out there that's different?